A dog was found during the weekend in Coram apartment, nearly starved to death. But thanks to some good Samaritans, she is getting a new leash on life. Bios One's Kevin Vesey went to Sayville tonight to get her story. She's a skeleton. She has uh, zero body mass on her. She has zero fat, no muscle tone anywhere on the body. This is Queenie, a 10-year-old Cane Corso who was found nearly lifeless on Saturday in a Coram apartment. With just about every bone showing through her skin, vets say the dog must have gone for weeks without food. Robert Masseri and Tunjay Adam rescued Queenie after getting a tip from the owner's ex-wife that the dog was in trouble. I walked in and was not prepared for what I saw, seeing a dog laying in her own feces and urine and pretty much lifeless. The two men scooped up the dying dog and brought her here to the Grady Animal Hospital in Sayville, where she's still recovering. Misery says Queenie's about 50 pounds underweight and she can barely walk, but that's much better than how they found her. She improved a great deal, um, but she's got a lot a lot ahead of us. She's, um, we have to make sure that her organs are working properly. She has to get a good amount of food in her uh, as well as water to see if all her bodily uh, functions are working. According to Masiri, the owner stopped feeding the dog after his ex-wife left several weeks ago. The case is currently being investigated by the SPCA, who will determine if Queenie was in fact neglected. Detective Paul LaBelle says that's likely the case. You know, anytime you see an animal, it's half the way to what it should be. Um, you know, this, this the first light bulb that goes off in your mind. Um, so again, our investigators will uh, determine whether it was a neglect or not. Queenie is suffering from kidney failure as a result of her injuries, and the vet says she could die in a few months. Tunjay, who will adopt the dog after she's released from veterinary care, says he hopes she can live out the rest of her life in peace. Honestly, my hope is that Queen makes some kind of recovery. If we can get her to a point where you know, she's comfortable, she's happy, she's moving. You know, she gets to live out her life in, in, in dignity and not and not die in, in, a, in an inhumane fashion. Now, the Guardians of Rescue have set up a fund to help pay for Queenie's medical bills, which Masiri says could run into the tens of thousands. To find out how you can help, just go to our website, FiosOneNewsLI.com. In Sayville, Kevin Vesey, Fios One News. Well, if you witness animal abuse, the Guardians of Rescue say you should first call 911, then contact the SPCA.